Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today, I'm gonna be filming a 100 subscriber special video. I'm gonna be going into the writing as always, and then the storyboarding, and then the filming, and the video editing. I'm gonna be using Adobe Premiere Pro for the video editing. I hope you learned something from it, and I appreciate all the support you guys given us. So let's just dive into it. Hey everybody, what is up? I'm going to be getting into the writing for a film where I celebrate getting 100 subscribers. So I have a basic idea for the script. Luke is laying in bed and then he wakes up and maybe he looks at his phone or goes onto his computer and sees that he has 100 subscribers. And then he gets really excited. Therefore, he keeps thinking of new ideas for his channel and gets excited and writes ideas. Me. And then we have a voiceover saying, what if this doesn't work out? What if people stop liking your content? Like self-doubting him. And then the last thing is, shut up brain, I can do this. The first shot. Does it cut to or does it fade to a scene? The scene heading consists of whether it's inside or outside a location, where it is, and the time of day. You either write INT for interior or EXT for exterior. So INT for interior or EXT for exterior. But for this instance, we're going to do interior and then you place where it's gonna be and then you're gonna do the dash and then the time of day so we'll just do daytime and there's gonna be an action you write the action what's gonna happen and when you introduce a character you capitalize the character and add his age add some action Luke 23 we see Luke slowly wake up maybe we should add some dialogue you go to the next tab another line underneath and then you go to you go to the character tab Luke and then what he says maybe he says I need some coffee and once you first introduce the character you do not need to capitalize him walks to his computer we see he has a hundred subscribers and then maybe he says and if you want the, him to say it a certain way you can go to parenthesis Cole, excited, oh my god, this is awesome. And then we can cut to a new scene. This is how you can do a montage. So if you want to do a montage, like he's doing one thing and then another, and you can capitalize, you go begin montage, and then add some actions below it. Dances calls his friend brags listens to the 420 anthem maybe that can be in the background we'll see and when you end the montage you just do end montage and maybe we can fade to begins to write new ideas we hear a voiceover and then when you want someone to talk, but you don't want them in the shot, this is what you can do. Remember when I brought up parenthetical, how you can say whether it's excited or whether it's sarcastic, you can also do that whether it's a voiceover. So if he's not in the shot, hey, look at me, like a voiceover, then you click parenthetical and you can do V.O, which means voiceover. Internal brain says, what if people don't like what you post? And then maybe Luke says, shut up you stupid brain. We'll see how it turns out. And then when you end it, you go to transition, cut, I'm getting a call, end. And that's how you do it. Now I'm gonna get into the storyboarding. I have to take this. Booyah! Now, I'm gonna get onto the storyboarding. There's like a window right here. 
and then I'm like sleeping right here. So now I got a picture of me sleeping. We get a close up of me waking up. Like, whoa. Uh, that's my nose. Look how ugly I look. Oh! And then I say, I need some coffee. But I'm just gonna like have a shot of me getting out of the bed. And there's the bed, there's that, the pillow, the window. And then the computer's right here. I walk up to my computer. And then I open YouTube Analytics, and we can use OBS, which is a software that records your screen. Because if you were to use a camera and face it towards your screen, it wouldn't work. If you use OBS, you can record your screen, and it looks really nice. Maybe like a close-up of me saying, this is awesome. So a thing about close-ups is when something exciting or you want the audience to notice something, having a close-up is important to show emotion and capture that emotion. A shot of me dancing in the living room, like, eh. Just like that. I don't know, I'm just gonna dance in the living room. Yo, I got a hundred. A close up of me saying I got a hundred subs. Maybe like a side shot of the table. So here's the computer and I go sit on the chair. A close up of me, like whoa. Like I'm thinking, what if, dot dot dot. And then I'm all like, shut up brain. I think we got a good plan for what the production will look like. Now, I'm going to get into the pre-production. Oh no, my room's a mess and my lighting is terrible. That is why I'm going to do the pre-production and start planning and setting up the scene. Now, I'm going to start adding lighting to the scene. I got these light sources right over here. And the shot's gonna be right about there. That looks good. This is a clip mic and it clips to your shirt. It's what I have been using for the majority of this tutorial. But I'm gonna use a road mic and it looks like this. This is what the road mic looks like. And you can clip it onto your camera and aim it at the subject, or you can clip it onto a boom if you have a friend and he can hold it over the subject as well. While I got the lighting ready, I cleaned the room enough, and now I'm gonna get onto the production. This is the sound of a road mic. There's different, two different settings, 80 hertz and like 40 hertz. If you're inside, it's good to use 40 hertz. This is 80 hertz and it might be a little too loud. I'm gonna lay down and wake up in this shot. I need some coffee. And now I'm gonna get a close up of me saying I need some coffee. I need some coffee. That looks good, I'm gonna take it again. I need some coffee. Oh, I need to move this lighting. Look at that glare. I'm gonna get a shot of me walking to the computer. Simple as that. Oh cool! I got a hundred subscribers! Hell yeah! I got a hundred subscribers! I'm gonna get a shot of me dancing. And action! Ow! I have a hundred subscribers and you don't. Beat it. I guess that was kinda mean. I'm using that as improv. Booyah! To the, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, I'm gonna get into the video editing. Now, I'm gonna get onto the video editing. So I'm using a software called Adobe Premiere Pro. I got the files, raw footage of everything we recorded in the production right here. We're gonna need a timeline to work with and sync all the footage together. If it says 1080, that means it's 180 pixels wide within the frame, which is 180p, which is HD. And if it says 60, that means it's 60 frames per second. Now I'm gonna splice the clips together, here. There we go. Now I need me walking to my computer. Cut right there. And then I took OBS 
a software where it records your screen. There. But if I do like a transition like that. Hell yeah, I got a hundred subscribers. Right there, I'm gonna cut that. And now we do the montage. So if you see this right here and it's linked, you're like, oh crap, I wanna take out the audio. Either you can go here and it'll unlink it. That's the link selection tool. Or you can just go right click it and click unlink. Maybe I'll speed it up too. And then we can have the phone call right here. I'm gonna put this sequence right here. And then maybe like, I'll add the guitar rocking out right here. Woo! Something like that. This sequence over here, right here, and just mix it up a little. Okay, so now it looks like this. Right here, I get on the computer, I see that. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna add a transition right here. And then we can add music later. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this out so it doesn't drag on. And we can cut it right there, that's where the montage ends. And then I sit down here, voiceover time. We transition out of the montage. And now I'm gonna go right here. And I recorded a voiceover of me, of the voiceover lines. So I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna unlink this. I'm gonna put these audio sequences closer together. What if I lose my subscribers? What if? All my doubters were right about me. What if no So this is the keyframe button. And that means if you click that and add and lower this level right here and then raise this right here, it's gonna get louder and quieter. I lose my subscriber. So if you click this keyframe, this will make it one whole volume. Now I'm gonna add music. Oh I know, I'm gonna add the 420 anthem. My most popular music video. Hey, look how young I looked. Maybe I'll start with the chorus. This plant, please, get too high at the retreat. And then I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, and I'm not gonna have it that loud. You can keyframe the audio, so if you click this level, you can turn down the volume where he talks. And then we can turn the volume down so you can hear what he's saying on the phone, like right there. Now, after writing it, storyboarding it, filming it, and video editing it, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it. Ugh. I need some coffee. Ugh. I got a hundred subscribers. Let's rock to the 420 and Yeah, man. Ah, it's awesome. I got a hundred subscribers. It's awesome, man. I have a hundred subscribers and you don't. Beat it. I guess that was kind of mean. Doing time for smoking weed. An herb that makes me smile and it lasts for a while. Time to write new ideas. What if I lose my subscribers? What if all my doubters were right about me? What if no one likes what I post? Shut up, you stupid brain. Ha! You just called yourself stupid. Oh, god damn it. Thank you for watching that video. We have animation vlogs, media vlogs, films, tunes, and music. So stay tuned and have a great day. These films.